Let me tell you, we be seeing these celebrities talk a lot of crap back and forth. Like, bitch, get in the ring, okay? Y'all got all that mouth. Like, uh, at this time, please get the fuck in the ring. Okay, I, I'm going to invite... And you get a I bag for... There's no excuse. Getting $20 million? Mm -hmm. th there's no excuse. You guys so, are right buying all these drugs. Go get mm -hmm. clean. Go get a gym. Go, 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 go get a trainer. And go get yourself a bag, bro. Be right. the motherfuckers ass. Right. So right now, I'm advocating for Cardi B and Nicki Minaj to get in the ring. I want them to get in the ring and hash it out. And then I want them bitches to make some songs together. Because what the fuck y'all still beefing for? I want to see a Nicki and Cardi collab. Like, sometimes people got to get this out their system. Like, get it out your system. You got your licks. She got her licks. Now, stop being babies. And both of y'all go make some music and collab. Like, sometimes I think, like, I'm not a violent person. I don't believe in violence. If you're going to box, it definitely should be how Jake Paul did with Mike Tyson. It should be a referee in the middle of it. That way, no one can really hurt each other. And at the end of the day, it's all said and done. Baby, if you lost, you lost. If you won, you won. Because we all going to see it. But don't be doing that fighting stuff behind closed doors and we don't know who won. Because last time Nikki and Cardi ended up in the room together, Cardi walked out with a knot on her head. And we still don't know who put it there. She said, Raw Ali. Nikki said, hm, hm, it was me, allegedly. So, you know, let, let's just and let's put the money on the table. the same lady that just said that, uh, that fucking Dirk had all reasons to slide for Vaughn, but she's not violent. Okay, okay, Ms. Hold King. on, wait a minute. Okay, Ms. King. Wait a minute. I'm not a violent person, but I'm saying... I get people's feelings and emotions. I'm not advocating for it, but I'm saying human emotions are natural. And in that in that moment, how he felt, he had every right to want to slide on him, his feelings. But as a human, right. you can't take a life. You can't do that. So I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I'm gonna condemn violence, but I'm just saying, I understand why he took the action that he took. That was somebody that he loves. Any person, you can be the Dalai Lama. And then someone takes someone that you love, a part of your spirit is going to want revenge. But it sometimes takes for you to calm down and get to that place of understanding. You got to go through those, those stages of grief, baby. And you got to be like, okay, let me calm down because, you know, I shouldn't be doing this. But I'm saying his feelings were valid. But at the same time, let's not act on our feelings because your feelings is valid. Doesn't mean you always have to act on it. He could have been like, let's get in the ring. I'm all for getting in the ring and doing it legally. Sometimes that's what you need because maybe that will, that will help, you know, I don't know if it's gonna help decrease balance because some people, they little pussies and they don't know how to take a loss and they'll still go out and still do some foul stuff, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I, I would never, see Nikki it's too much plastic surgery with the females and then on top of that it hurts their brand it, it hurts their brand really bad like Nikki is Nikki doesn't have to box and and do songs ever with Cardi you know Nikki is the only female rapper without a Grammy and she's doing totally fine totally which fine I, which like, I only... think is bogus let's let's be clear yeah. on that that's some bullshit I'm sorry yeah, but who hate Nikki it's bullshit me? but at the end of the day is it I mean you you it's just it another is. It is. It, it's it's another it's another uh award that it really doesn't um mean nothing it doesn't make or break Nikki you know what I mean yeah. like it just makes her even that much better and bigger because she's the only female rapper without a Grammy like and she's and she's still the biggest female rapper Almost today, almost she's still in the top five. You know, well, what that's mean? because so, that's yeah, that's because they hate Nikki. Nikki says what everybody else is thinking. Everybody else feel like they have to be politically correct. Nikki gonna call it out for it is. You a pussy ass hoe. Excuse my language. You trying to get? You trying to eat off me? Nikki sees the industry for what it is, and she calls it out. And so then people, oh, she's difficult. I ain't gonna lie, she diva. But. Sometimes you got to be difficult to make sure a mother sucker don't take advantage of you. Yes, I'm going to stop cussing so much. And I think that's what mm -hmm. the path of Nikki's on. But I am going to advocate for some rehab for her, though. Because Nikki needs rehab. And 
I don't give a shit what nobody Nikki, say. Nikki really, man, the shit will rage. Nikki be her. Nikki be on that shit. But you know what? I rather Nikki be on her shit on the way down the hill, where she had her time, she had her kids, she made her millions. She's been the hottest rapper. It's not like she's uh she was uh, cracked out during her time on on the no, upgo. No, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it. The reason why I'm saying I want her to seek help is because, and Kodak Black too, because these drugs will take people out. And ten years from now, if she gets so bad, no one's gonna remember the Nicki Minaj we know right here and now. It's gonna forever they remember her drug use. Look how Whitney Houston is. Everyone remember her music, but they also make really bad jokes about her drug addiction. I'm sorry. I'm just against drugs. I really am. I don't do drugs or anything like that. And uh, I come from a family who has a really bad drug addiction problem. So for me, I'm always advocating for people to you have a sip here and there. But drugs, I feel like once you start using drugs, Drugs starts controlling you, and then you really have no real control over your mind anymore. And you want it more and more. And I just feel like the more I see Nikki, Nikki she's online, and you could tell that she's definitely under the influence of something. Look at Kodak Black. We just see the video of him and um, what's her name, Young Gilly or Gilly the Kid? Gilly, Gilly the King, yeah. Yeah, we we seen um, Gilly out here trying to save Kodak Black from himself. He was on Kai since um, pro- uh, podcast, broadcast, or Twitch, whatever you call it. I don't know what they call it over on Twitch. But you've seen how people take advantage of people. Kai knew he was too high to be on there. And Kai presented him to the world like that. And people do that for views. People who have drug addictions, people take advantage of them. And I think that is the most awful thing that you could ever do. It's take advantage of a person who has a substance abuse problem because they are trying to self-medicate because they're trying to heal. They're trying to mask what they're feeling. People be going through a lot of stuff in real life and they're escaping. Yeah, he was dealing drugs. with life. Yeah. He was dealing with life until, you know, uh, Donald Trump parted him. So yeah, he's dealing with a lot. And, you know, and shout out to Donald Trump. He a real one for that one. I'm gonna give him that. I'm gonna give him that. Because you know what, man? I look at Kodak and my heart breaks because Kodak seems like he is the type of person who is just looking for love when you see him he's looking for love acceptance and a place of belonging he he looks like he's a person who is trying to find his place in life just like everybody else but you have to realize people who become celebrities and they make it they always got leeches around them and the leeches will keep supplying them with what they need because those leeches need something from them and that man could be in the place of he wants to get clean, he wants help. But if there is someone around you enabling you and they don't have your best interest at hand, you're gonna eventually succumb to your addiction. And that's not something I wanna see for him. Cause I actually feel bad for him, I really do. Like I could see when a person's soul is crying out and that man's soul is crying out for help. And you know what people do? They they, they laughed at him in kind of sense um, dangling um, thing. Ain't nobody tell Kai in this, man. He couldn't end hey, it. Yo, no, end I'm it. sorry, sis. There was some fucking viral moment that had me. It was. Fucking, I'm sorry. It's so listen, junkies are the most talented, most funniest, most fucking outrageous people to have the fuck around. Okay? I'm not joking about any of it. It's not funny. It almost brings you to the reason, uh, it almost brings you like sense of why Tyson said what he said to that little girl about legacy. Because legacy means nothing. None of this no. shit means nothing. None of this means none of absolutely witches. nothing. What's going to happen is Kodak Black, and you know, you do have some people that wants to help him. Maybe they want to help him. You know, I don't feel like they, they needed to, they don't need to document that uh you that you want to help somebody i understand that that's that that you're a figure like that but with uh you know if you really wanted to help kodak you don't need to uh tell the world that you want to help i I agree wholeheartedly so i do um i do so yeah so like with it's all every everything whether they want to help him hurt him make fun of him anything this is a name 
So everybody's going to leech off of whatever he's going through. When he gets better, we're not going to give a fuck. And when he dies, his record sales is going to go through the roof for the first year. Unfortunately. Or two. And then he's, yeah, you know, that that that's the legacy that we have. And then in what? five years after he passes or goes to jail for life, we'll never talk about this man again until his birthday or, the, you know, the day that mm -hmm. he died comes up or some shit, you know what I mean? And then we're like, oh shit, yo, he did have some shit, you know what I mean? But that's legacy from that. We joke about Whitney Houston. We joke about Michael Jackson. We joke about Prince. And these are people that we really, really love. But their legacy got tarnished by pedophilia, you know, being a pedophile, uh, uh, being a crackhead, being that we don't give a fuck about the greatness. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, put a magnifying glass under you when you're under that pressure. So, uh, this is what they sign up for. You can't really feel bad because it's like you have the opportunity to. The dude was doing life. He was gonna do life, and he got parted by the fucking president of the United States of America. That doesn't happen. But what happened to him to push him to this type of drug use that is so extreme? That's what I'm wondering. I'm I'm sure that a lot of stuff happened to him in jail. I'm sure that a lot of stuff happened to him. You know, uh, behind the scenes of what's going on, but this is where you have to protect yourself. You spend all of this money on drugs and partying, and these guys are getting thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. This is where you can't really trust a lot of people, but you can buy a certain look for yourself. You know what I mean? You're not you're having certain entities and 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 energies and. And, and people around you, you know, you, you have to change your circle up. You have to change something about you. And I think a lot of these dudes, they're so comfortable with just continuing their cycle. You know what I mean? They're not educating themselves enough. I agree. Because if you I was, agree. yeah, if you was, you wouldn't be making these decisions. If you knew better, you do better. It's not really just the same. It's actually a, a, a real thing. If you knew that, yo, this person's a killer or he's a drug dealer and you got all of this, you're, it costs too much for the nigga to be around you. Mm -hmm. And you're if right. this is your man, and, right. and if this is your man and he's not doing good and this is your man and he's around you, whether or not you want, you want it, you're going to get pulled into it. Whether or not if, it, if you're pulled into it by an accident or you go, you're going to test it out with the nigga, it's on. You gotta have some common sense, and we gotta hold these millionaires to uh, to a certain extent of of, of accountability. I feel and like, Kodak, yeah. I feel like he. I feel like some of what you're saying is true, but then I feel like as a human being, life can get to you, and you think it's gonna be one time. It takes that one time, then it's the next time. It's gonna be one time. And then, you know, so it's, you know, it's not my place to judge because I feel like any of us can succumb to anything. You just never know. And yes, it is our choice. But sometimes people are not okay because they don't have a lot of knowledge. Like they don't have the help, you know, they don't have the knowledge to what's going on with them. And that's why I advocate for counseling. I think counseling and therapy is something that everyone needs to embark on, especially if you're someone who struggles with drug addiction or self-esteem problems. Uh, we have something called um, uh, cognitive behavior therapy. And what that does is it helps reinforce po positive thoughts. It helps retrain the way that you, th you think. And I think that that's something that everyone should embark on, not that particular type of counseling, but I think that everyone should get in touch with someone in um, the human service field or uh, uh, just talk to their medical provider and tell them, hey, I think I may need counseling. Seek after counseling, you do some assessments and they'll tell you where you need to be. And I just think that that should be something that becomes a norm to everyone because being human, like I said, is a hard thing. But being human and not having the skills and the capability to know your emotions or to be emotionally aware can be a downfall. So it, it is very imperative that we get to know our, ourselves, you know. But I get what you're saying, though, because I agree with that, too. No, it's it, like mental health is definitely 
you know, something, it's, it's the most important thing in the world. But it's, it's hot, like, what is, what is going on where it's like, you have nobody in, like, in the industry, like, there's nobody in these camps, like, like, where are we getting these guys from? Where it's like, nobody sits back and be like, wait a minute, this is not right. This is not smart. Uh, I have a couple, you know, because when you're looking at, when you're looking at bank account, right? And, and you see all them M's and all of that, or thousands or whatever. I get it. You might want to spend a couple hundred thousand on yourself. But after that, and you get everything you want, and you done did your party and party. Where do you sit down, and we said this before, and say, yo, I want to better myself. I'm never going to do what I was doing before. And everybody around me has to be how I am. Like with me and you, sis, I check in on you. I try to, you know me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out your goals and where I right. can fit in and, and everything. Because right. you're going to be a part of my life and moving forward for a while so i need to make sure that we're on the same page and because if you're telling me well bro for real for real i'm not really trying to do this this right here and and blah 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 and i got this 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 going on and and for real for real i'm trying to get i'm trying to be the biggest person in the fucking world but i'm not really trying to vlog all right you're delusional i really don't want to fuck with you <laughs> Because I understand that your plan is not for real. You know what I mean? It's not, right. you know what I mean? It doesn't click. So where does it be like, yo, bro, I got a couple M's. What we going to do? And the nigga says, we should buy some perks. Damn. That is where I'm just going to be like, nah, nigga. that's the first thing you want to do, my nigga. Like, you don't want to flip houses. You don't want to. You, you don't want to invest. You don't. You don't want to start a clothing line. You don't want to be a truck driver. Like if you're gonna be my friend as a millionaire, you have to be some type of an asset towards me. If you're gonna mm -hmm. be my friend, you're gonna be my driver. You're gonna be my cook. You're gonna be my. You, 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 you know what I mean? Like oh, I like. I, I, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that's I, like. I'm, that's I'm gonna be traveling. I mm -hmm. I need you to be. To where you know you got a, a rental spot where I can rent from you. Now our business is going right. I agree. That's just like me. I said when I get rich, I said people are like you gonna put your family on. I said I will, but I'm not giving handouts because if you want just to make, something just from to me, let you know this is what we doing all day, sis. This is what, what we, is that? we just having it. Is that food? This is your channel. Yeah, we we watching. We watching. Oh, okay. See, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we on, we on, we on the channel all day, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, <laughs> this is just running in the background. Yeah. So, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, but that's like someone asked me before. That's like, uh, you get rich, you put your family on. I said, listen, I am, but there's there's gonna be steps to it. If you want something from me, baby, you don't have your GED, you gotta go to school to go get that. You get your D GED, honey, I'm, you, you got whatever you want from me, but you have to show me that you're willing to take steps towards financial freedom and that you're willing to take steps towards to being better. Because if I just give you money, you're gonna take that and go blow it. And then you're gonna be right back next to me again, asking me for more money. Why don't I teach you how, once you go get your education, I teach you how to earn this money. I teach you how to maintain this money. And then you don't have to go broke again or ask somebody else for nothing. If you already have your college degree and your education, okay, baby, like you said, go look for property. Let's figure out what we about to invest in. So there's gonna have to be steps. There's no handouts. And I know people like, I don't want nothing with strings attached. It's not strings attached. It's my way of setting you up for financial success. It's my way of keeping us all afloat because guess what, baby? If the boat go down and I'm going now, we all got other backup companies where we're going to be good. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that, that's what it, that's what I would do. So I agree with you on that. And a lot of these yeah. people, they come into these celebs' lives and they don't be on that. They just be on give me, give me, give me. And you know what? And I, to a certain extent, I do understand where it's like you can't because I've been in, I, since I've been in positions where I really 
wanted to help people. And sometimes it's beating a dead horse. Amen. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's really beating a dead horse. Sometimes you trying to help somebody, it takes more from you because you're trying to do all the work for them. Like, I can't pay any of my hosts. I don't pay any of my hosts. That We do this together. But if sis needs a fucking thumbnail, I got her. If I need an instrumental and, and, and I need something for my background or so or a backdrop or something, my man's got me. And and at time, what we doing right here, whether we sit for an hour, me and Caps have for three hours, that is a lot. That is a lot of fucking, you know what I mean? That is, you can't get that back. I can spend all the money I want on you and I can invest in you and everything. But me spending this time with you it, 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 and 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 really going for hard for what you believe in, that's more than any money because the money's gonna come, baby. We Amen. gonna get to this bag. We gonna get to Amen. this bag, but I, I, I I just wish that other people had that mindset where it's like, you know, you don't have to hold on. I'm not expecting Alora or I'm not expecting Hob or anybody to be uh, not for the week for the rest of their life. Hey, it can happen and it'll be lovely, but you know what? Things change. But we all we, we all moment, working on elevation over here, baby. Exactly. So, but what 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 we need to do for right now? is build this foundation together so we can get to that next stage where it's like, okay, I got my network, she got hers, he got his, he got that. But your foundation has to be to where you can branch out and get more people that's on your level. I just feel like there was a bunch of hood niggas and a bunch of druggies that got together and was like, they like us when we're the most highest, bro. Right. And this is where we get the most money. So let's continue doing this and, and promoting that. And I'm not with it. And that's Amen. why I love doing I love doing shows with you because I know what you're about and I know that's, what you're yeah. heading for. That's why I start rapping. That's exactly why I start rapping. Oh, you know what? Your flow is better. Your flow is better when you high. You got some weed in your system. I love your flow. And I realized, I said, well, shit, if I ain't got that shit when I'm not high, I ain't got it, okay? And I'm cool. Mm-hmm. You ain't about to keep me drugged up, doped up, or nothing to have me. And I'm talking about hot, like, off of marijuana, off of pot. I, I did uh, smoke pot before, y'all. Yeah, nah, man. I, I, but, you know what, man? Uh, Lil Wayne was uh, the greatest rapper of all time uh, until he put the cup down. Uh, Eminem was the greatest rapper of all time until he went to rehab and stopped all the shit that he did. It doesn't legacy. What Mike Tyson said to that little girl of her age, because of her age, maybe it was a little harsh and inappropriate, but he gave that girl a life lesson gem. Hey, they need to hear that stuff legacy. young. Give yeah. it some young. Get, get, get reality through your fucking skull now because when it yeah. hits you, and you and you don't have that knowledge. At least, if she heard it, once she heard it now that she's that she's fourteen years old. By the time she's twenty one and she's in this game, and then she done fuck for a spot, or she didn't she didn't had a bitch uh uh low ball her, or she didn't motherfucking got you know, it doesn't matter. Now she got oh this is what Mike meant. This is what this mm-hmm. man meant. You know what I mean? I didn't get it then, but. For a couple years, I guarantee you when that clip, because it's a viral moment, mm-hmm. when it rolls back 10 years from now, she's going to understand that. Amen. Yeah. It is what it is, though, you know? Like, sometimes... <laughs> That's why it's not for the week, baby. This, yeah. This is not for the week, man. So, sis, uh, let them know your YouTube channel. I'm going to post it up for you and everything, but let them know what's going on, baby. Hey guys, so y'all know my YouTube channel is the Lauren Hour Network over on YouTube. And if you into cooking videos, I got y'all. If you into some podcasts, and I got y'all over there too. If y'all want some funny news, some shady things, and some uh, trending corners with a Laura D, baby, I got that too. Listen, mm-hmm. head over to my YouTube at the Lauren Hour Network over on youtube and hit that like share and subscribe button i totally appreciate all of you guys but it's all love there so uh just like it is here so this is my brother from another mother and i appreciate you bro so much i really do
Oh, you already know. You already know.